Hi gang, this is Mike G from Mr G TV and MrMikeGarner.com and this is my point of view, that's my property on the left hand side, I'm just outside driving towards my chess club on a Thursday evening, whenever you're watching this, how's your life, how's your world, what's going on, this is my point of view, literally looking through my front windscreen as I drive through Hua Hin in Thailand lots going on in the UK which is where I'm from you got the Philip Schofield situation. You got Boris Johnson demanding the release of information from Richie Sunak's phone. You've got all sorts of things going on with AI. Elon Musk saying that he's going to create this neurological chip. We've got the ongoing Ukraine situation. We've got pending health challenges with new variants being discussed and proposed and financial situations there's a lot going on isn't there guys my point of view is that the big stuff isn't really being discussed and the little stuff is being maximised not to dumb down or patronise the little stuff because the little stuff is big stuff in itself but the likes of Philip Schofield and uh, the politicians, well, there's always been, in my opinion, corruption there. The whole idea of mass media is to mediate to the masses through a device which is the biggest hypnotist in your life, not me, but Tell Live Vision, which is projecting to you 24 seven government propaganda understanding that the government, the actual word government, is to govern your mentality. It's to control your thinking. And they've known since before the First World War that people are influenced by what they consider to be the authorities through organisations like the BBC and ITV and other broadcasters. And the etymology of broadcasting Casting is spells, cast a spell on the nation, change society by broadcasting, by propagating, social engineering, manipulating people's thoughts, expectations, perceptions, while they're already in hypnosis watching television. Television puts you into hypnosis, it's designed to create a trance. You look at it with your mouth open, your eyes open. You're open-minded because you're in a relaxed state and you take everything in like a child as if it's true. You're very, very impressionable. And the powers that be know this. And they maximise every opportunity to broadcast their spin on what they want you to see, what they want you to experience, how they want you to view the world. And their viewers tune in and connect to this worldview that's been presented through these organisations like the BBC and Sky News and even some of the um, lesser known ones that are broadcasting now on YouTube. They're all in on the game. And some are more blatant than others and some are more extreme than others but trust me the only way you can believe something is to have conscious contact of it in other words to have an experience of it yourself and I've had enough experience over the last 66 years of my life to understand that what you're being told on the radio or on television through the films through all sorts of media broadcasting that it's very spurious very dubious very unreliable and very biased to say the least I would go as far as to say it's corrupt and it's manipulative and it's um, it's dark it's dark you only have to look at some of the celebrities now that come in so-called talented individual singers actors they come in maybe green fresh enthusiastic it didn't take long for them to get contaminated look at Madonna Lady Gaga when they started look at Rihanna when she started look at Sam Smith when 
he started uh, and that's just to name a few and look where they are now raw talent that gets sucked into this machine of the media and um, very quickly all of a sudden they are wearing all the logos they are talking all the showbiz speak and um, it's all the same it's all the same it's the it's the big secret really that most of the media is dark it's spiritual I would suggest satanic um, if you know what you're looking for even going back to Walt Disney and um, productions you know during the first and after the second and before the first world war that period where it was so important to send out a national message while we're in what I would consider unnecessary world wars um, they had to keep a certain message a certain diktat they are dictating the mood of the nation they did it with the royal wedding they did it through the covid pandemic don't get me started on that um, they've done it during um, elections they do it during um, anything really that is influential and at the moment it's going on with um, sexuality uh, male and female disparities um, education financial matters and as I said in my introduction AI where you've got the likes of Elon Musk and other people um, Mark Zuckerberg who are creating a meta virtual reality with technology but they want to connect us to it they want us to have implanted chips and granted obviously it's going to be sold to us like um, this is going to benefit the blind it might make the blind see it might cure this it might cure that it can you know if you've got fibrillation you know you, you, it's almost like having a pacemaker but it'd be for other aspects of maybe your neurology your psychology your physiology your biology and they'll always sell this on some spurious benefit but when you really look at it you know do you want to be uploaded to the cloud do you want to have an entrainment do you want to be bluetoothing uh, with other humans or transhumans and where is this going I mean you know in terms of medical advancements who's going to be able to afford this is this going to create another segregation between rich and poor north and south whatever divisions you want because it's obviously going to come in at a price point you know designer babies and genetically modified this and biologically and scientifically enhance that um, so my point of view is look at the big stuff what's important and keep your mind off the distractions because they'll always get you looking over here to the left metaphorically speaking while they're doing something that they don't want you to see over here on the right and this is smoke and mirrors and they've always done it you know when big events happened in the world, 9-11, millions and millions and billions and trillions of dollars went missing. Um, but of course the world was looking at the Trade Centre, the World Trade Centre. Um, you know, and this has happened throughout history, the Great Fire of London, lots of records were destroyed. Um, and things were rewritten, things were reset. The old is destroyed conveniently uh, during smoke and mirrors where we're looking in one direction and the hidden hand is doing something in the other direction. They're very clever at doing this. Don't be sucked into things that are not important when there's major things going on that are important. And even the things that are important, don't allow it to too much spoil your day, because there's very little you can do about it. 
other than pray, manifest, cosmic order, metaphysically put an intention into the universe. And I'm a massive believer in that scientifically, metaphysically and spiritually. And all this dark stuff that I'm talking about in terms of celebrities and our television presenters and our politicians, politicians and other people who are influential in our lives, they're actors. They're actors, that's not who they are. You know, when you look at um, some of these television presenters, you know, it, I won't mention names because I don't want to get any litigation against me, but you know who they are. We've just had major changes in Scottish Parliament people at the top got out very quickly because they knew that the corruption that they've been involved in for years was going to get exposed. It's rather like the celebrity thing where they admit to a lesser revelation knowing that a larger revelation is going to really turn their life upside down. And this is why people come and go because there's things that we just don't know because the whole thing is an illusion. Smoke and mirrors, propaganda, and the media are there to control you. Control yourself, you have a powerful mind. Step back and just ask the question, what's behind this news story? Who benefits? Always ask who benefits, follow the money and understand the agenda that at the moment things are being changed so rapidly in society and nothing is independent. Join the docks is a bigger picture and uh, I'll be talking more about this for free on Mr GTV. My name's Mike G. I welcome your constructive comments. I offer this for your consideration. I never say that I'm right. And check back on Ask Mike Monday. Hashtag Ask Mike Monday, all lowercase. Because next Monday we'll be discussing some of this stuff, and most Mondays, and there's two and a half years of Ask Mike Mondays with all sorts of things that you might find interesting that you can contribute to. And if you're commenting past Ask Mike Mondays that are lives that you can watch on um, Catch Up, you can watch the replay and comment in the replay, I will, I will respond to your comments. If you need a chat, I'm here for that, be powerful. Don't be wide-eyed. Don't be fooled. You've got an intelligent brain. You're an absolute genius. Use your intelligent brain. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your mind. And realise that what you see on the TV is a programme. It's literally a TV programme, which means it's trying to programme you. Programme yourself. Be powerful. God bless.